Do you guys know what's better than getting figgies in the mail? I'm going to tell you this right now. It's getting figgies in the mail from a friend. Whether it's a trade or a purchase or a happy birthday gift. It's not a birthday gift. It would make for an awesome gift. I'll tell you that right now. But uh, BEW, dude, you're awesome, man. He uh, He's a magician, as my damn toys would say. This man is just... An artist, whether it's sculpting, painting, we got some really good stuff from right here from him. So we'll get this open. Before we do, I do want to show you uh, just a purchase, a purchase from eBay, as well as some um, updates slash beautiness, because this is beauty. Uh, if you guys remember, we picked up a second Maria Can or Ms. Elizabeth, and the reason why was because. Uh, FWE, he's like, dude, you should do a head swap. Do a head swap from your base, from your Jax Maria Canales, just to see what it looks like. Because if you guys do remember, this is kind of an outfit that she wore on SmackDown. It was the exact same green, same mermaid style dress. This looks a lot better. I, I still got to do a couple things like pink blend and do an arm swap on it. But right here, this is going to go perfect with that Mike Bennett custom that we're working on. And look, we also get, we get the, ugh, I love when this happens. When you get two, I mean, I'm going to put a dress on her, of course, right? That NWO attire. But this just looks amazing. So, and this, for some reason, the paint blends better on the Jax than it did on the Mattel. I don't know why. It's like... Not just the lighting, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. I do like that. Now, Randy Orton. Randy Orton. I know a lot of the Randy Ortons that we get are pretty much the same, but we did pick one up. We picked this up from Series 75. Let's get him up. We got this from uh, Walkout Wear. He's in discount code HERO. I really wanted this figure. Oh, let me show you the back real quick. This was actually a pretty good series. I do like this series. They had a lot of great figures. This was actually the first time that we got that updated Braun Strowman with the shaved sides. Finn Balor, Lesnar, Chris Jericho, you just made the list. And that Lana. Oh my gosh, that Lana. But this right here, this is going to be... And it looks similar, but it's not. It's actually different. There's actually a few things different. Um, one of them being the arms. If you look at the basic arms, this is actually going to make for a great update because... I mean, yeah, like, the, the shading on the tattoos is a lot darker, which is nice, but also the wrist straps. We're going to get some updated wrist straps on Randy Orton, so I'm going to put both arms on, on the Elite for sure. And this head scan, too. Look at this head scan. This is more of, like, a happy Randy Orton, like, I just RKO'd somebody, but this right here, this is like, I'm going to destroy you. And that's kind of his style lately. It's just, he's just been freaking, he's been a savage lately, so i can't yeah this is gonna look awesome really really excited for this it is you know it's not like grand but it's been a while since we've gotten an orden and that just that'll be perfect for a fix up now right here we'll get the ebay one opened up because bew sir i, I really want to open that one first but this one right here you guys uh i think you guys might like this it's uh, see when i saw this i thought it was pretty much just like uh, an accessory that we had gotten but it's actually, the attire is different. I'm really big into collecting different attires for some of my favorite superstars. This man right here, he's still one of them, regardless of the fact of what they've done with him. And they destroyed his career when they put him on a suit, but he's still one of my favorites. He made a big impact in my childhood, so that's kind of one of my things, is completing all of his attires. Kane, the Big Red Machine. This is his most recent elite. Like I said, I did hold off on him mainly because I thought that the attire... Actually, let me go grab the other one. I thought that uh, that the attire was the same from the previous Elite, but it's actually different. Because if, if you look at the shirt right here, it is like... A, this is more of like a tank top, like a tank top look. And this right here, this is more of like a full-on, you know, cut-off sleeve, whatnot. But this... And the heads, too. They are different. I thought, again, that was another reason why I held off. But the more I looked at it, I'm like, these are different. These are a lot different. So from the waist down, yeah, they look similar. But this is, uh, yeah, again, a serious corporate cane. This might have been the same head that they used on that Build-A-Figure. And this right here, this. <laughs> look at him, he's like, oh, they put my mask in a, in a case. I'm so happy. Is this a trophy or what? But <laughs> I like this case. This is cool. You can put a lot of things in this case. Is this, can you open this? I don't know if you, I'm pretty sure you can, otherwise how are you going to put the mask on? There you go. You kind of have to really, this is an awesome case. Uh, I'm probably going to put like, maybe a slammy when he's not wearing. I think that'll look cool. Just to emphasize the fact that it's something special in there, right? And with the mask on, come on, get on there. See, that's the one thing I don't like about these. Uh, it still looks good. Yeah, it looks a lot better. 
It looks like it's a lighter red too. This is more of a bright red compared to like a darker red. Which one looks more menacing? I feel like the old one still does. Yeah, this one looks more like the big red machine. I mean, they both look like the big red machine, but this one looks like he's going to really do something. Why is this can See? This is what I hate about my camera. So, I don't know. They're, they're both great cane figures. And because it is a different attire, I said, sure, why not? Now, since we're here, since we're all here, I hope you guys are still here. I hope you guys have... This is a cool case. I'll show you the case real quick. See, it's like a nice little two-piece, and it clips on there. You just got to play with it a little bit. There you go. Look at that. So if you want to put something special on there, a belt or a, I don't know, like I said, a slammy or maybe a mask, right? Because that's why they designed it, was to put King's mask in there. This right here, like I said, this came from B-E-W, the magician, M-D-T. <laughs> he kills me with that word. I, I don't know why. It is a great word. It's a great way to express someone that's, oh, that's right. I also got a couple of heads done. How could we forget? Right? The villain. We got the villain done. Yeah, let's get this focus. There, there you go. Come on. There you go. So we got the villain right here. Marty Scrawl. And this, wow, this is cool. This is more of a modern one. He has made one um, in the past. It was different. The hairstyle was different. This is more of his modern look right here. This is incredible, dude. This is cool. This is just awesome. And of course, ah, uh, yeah, I got a... Uh, an Owen Hart, as you guys know, we got the Nation of Domination almost completed. And this man, he wants to join the the group, right? The family of he was part of the group, so I wanted to make a an, uh, a Nation of Domination Owen Hart. So great looking heads, bro. Love these as always, dude. You always you always seem to want to do it. Now this right here. Hope you guys are ready for this. You guys, ready? All right, I'm ready. Look at this. This is awesome. This is one of his last attires. That he had worn before he left or before he came over to WWE. Finn Balor, another demon attire. And the army continues, right? Because you can't have Finn Balor army without this attire. Look at this. Look at the back on this. That is just amazing, dude. I don't know how you do that white over the black. Doing white over the black is definitely tough to do. But he just did an amazing job with this. Oh my gosh this is crazy this is exactly it, it's not imperfections because this is exactly how he did it i was looking at images of when he actually wore this uh war paint and yeah this is exactly like spot on bro you did and look at the head scan right here he's just wow dude this is awesome this is so cool you know what we got to do right since you guys are here we're gonna go put him up there because anybody that has seen the collection video, you guys know that there is a specific part for this figure. So we're going to go ahead and put him over there because he's just waiting to join the family. I don't know. We're going to have to make room. We might have to push over. We might have to push. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to move Rollins because this whole section is. Yeah, we're going to have to move. Sorry, Rollins. I think, yeah, I'll just move the rest of you guys over a little bit more to the right because there's still room to work with on this side but over here this will really just add to it it is a different shelf but regardless it's still cool right i like it you guys like it until next time everybody